right, Linda, let's see if you can answer this one. Shorthorn cattle, three major color patterns, what are they? Red, brown, and white. Average yield of a crop of wheat? Approximately around 80 bushels or 80 million individual grains. When's your mother's birthday? Dad. Answer the question. April 26th. And what are the four H's? My head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, mm -hmm. my hands to larger service, and my health to better living. Now name me the small seeded grains. I'll get it. I think it went in the junk pile. Ken Flores, Sheriff, we're open for business. Hey, Slim, that coffee machine working today? That's a negative on the Java, sir. You need to sign the purchase order so I can take it over to Hanks and get it fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Slim. Uh-huh. Why don't you lighten up a little bit? Ken Flores, Sheriff. Say hello to old Norbert. Morning, Norbert. Don't stop on account of me. But do on account of me. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, son. You guys ready for the big gig out at the fairgrounds? What do you care anyway? He's just doing it to impress Nadine. Dylan. Dylan, come on. So how's my little blue ribbon winner, huh? Not yet, Dad. He'll jinx it. I'm not gonna jinx anything. Where's your mom? Upstairs. Audrey, it's me! I need a clean duty shirt. Just a minute! How come I see more of you now than I did when we were together? Did you get a job? Assistant manager at the Dairy Castle. Sissy called. Oh, Lord, not again. Uh, that's pretty good hunting winter shack. Well, your daughter made that. Mm. You'd know that if you spent more time with them. I'm cultivating a hive for rural youth. Bees? I've had it for two months, Lincoln. I'm showing my supers at the fair. Supers are what beekeepers call their hives. So, why are you keeping this super thing? Behind the garage. All right, well, as long as it stays there. Mm. Andre, I swear you make the best cup of coffee. That dairy castle's lucky to have you. I'm worried about him. Dylan! 
I'll see you later. Hey. How much longer am I gonna have to keep ironing your shirts? I don't expect you it's to been iron. Six months, Lyndon. What are we waiting for? We got enough money saved to pay for the divorce. Well, I don't know. I mean, I thought the separation was working fine. I don't know where I am. The kids see us together. We're not together. Audrey, I, I don't. We need to get on with our lives. Have you met somebody? How could I with us tripping over each other? You know, Audrey, when we lost the farm, your confidence in me went with it. That is you talking, you not know, me. All I want is peace of mind. All right, we're always at each other's throats, and for what? Money? Money's been a third wheel in our marriage for as long as I can remember. I think we should try to stay out of each other's way. Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. We're gonna try that. Zeke called here this morning looking for you. You're taking his house today, aren't you? Don't start with I me. I cannot bear the thought of you working for that ditwaller, Lyndon. How could you? How could you even speak to him after what he did to us? You know, all the farmers in Sooms think you are a traitor. You know what? Ditwaller didn't take our farm. The bank did. Lyndon Ditwaller is the bank. Do you think I like kicking people off of farms that have been in their family for a hundred years? Huh? It sure beats living off food stamps, don't it? I gotta go. confidence in me went with it. That is you talking, not me. I miss this place. What the? Dit Waller. I want you off on my property. It's the bank's property now, Mr. Gilman. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Sheriff, sure, he's got a gun! Yeah, and it's loaded, too. <laughs> now, Zeke, let's not go and make this any worse than it already is. Oh, you go to heck, Harris, you darn traitor. I thought you was one of us. Now, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The sheriff here ain't gonna be taking us off to jail for this, are you, Sheriff? Not as long as you stop shooting at us, I won't. Give us a little time to collect a few personals. Go on, Zeke. Take all the time you need. Now, I want to press charges. You hear that? Whatever you say, Mayor, but it ain't gonna hold up in court. He's going for the truck. Well, don't just stand there. Go after him. Now, Mayor, let's just be reasonable. Do something. I want him arrested. On what charges? Attempted murder. Now, Zeke wanted a shot. We'd have never gotten near the place. Well, then, Grand Theft Auto, that truck belongs to me now. This place has been in his family since before the railroad went through here. Now, to you, it's just another asset, but to them, it's their family history. I'll come back later and smooth things out with Zeke. Don't worry, you'll get your truck. You just make sure it's sooner than later. How'd it go with Zeke? Oh, I gave him another week. <laughs> I bet Mayor Ditwaller wasn't very happy about that, huh? You know, I don't care what Ditwaller thinks. You can't kick a man out of his house and expect him just to pack up just like that. In three weeks, Lyndon. Well, it's gonna have to be four, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're the sheriff, right? Oh, gee, uh, Ed Stillwell called out on 15. Said some kids was at his place the other night, busted up a chicken coop, let the hogs out, you know. Seems to be a lot of that going on. 
Do me a favor. Drive out there and talk to him for me. Ever since I've become the law, me and the farm boys just don't see eye to eye. Okay. Oh, hey. Sissy called. Lord. Doesn't she ever give it a rest? These trucks are here to pollinate the crops, sissy. I mean, you're right in the middle of the main thoroughfare. What can I do? The whole place shakes every time they go by. Every year, there's more and more of the things. Well, I... See? Can't you divert them to the state road? Sissy, you're going to have to talk to the mayor about that now. I might just do that. It seems that the only way things get done around here is if Dittwaller gets involved. Not so much for the town. I haven't seen you before, mister. Why are you contracting all the way up here? Oh, yeah. No hablang glazy? <laughs> well, the price is good enough. As for darn tootin', me would have been here. She would be smiling. Well, I'll be. The Sumas Honey Queen has lost her crown. What can I get for you, Zeke? Uh, give me one of them honey glaze. 37 cents. That man of yours come by to bring me a little greeting this morning. Well, unfortunately, that is not an uncommon occurrence around these parts. Audrey, that's it. Shame, he's got to be right in the middle of all this. Yes, Zeke, it is. I put an extra one in there for you. You take care. Okay. She survived all those tornadoes, though they drove her to the brink. scratch on it. My, mine is just trashed. Insurance. Give me your insurance papers. Insurance. -o. What the heck are you doing? Hey! That's Dittwaller's truck. He's gonna get you. He gets everything. <coughs> this is Dittwaller's truck. <laughs> Have a nice truck, Mr. Dick Waller. <laughs> Sissy. Fifty-three in a thirty-five mile an hour zone. That ought to make your daddy proud. My father says those things ain't accurate. Is that a fact? Come on, Sheriff. I'm in the same class with Dylan. Is that a fact? Yeah. Thanks to Unit One. Got a vehicle abandoned on FTM 17 at the 11 mile marker. Looks like Zeke's. I'm all over that, Slim. So, 
Can I go? You can now. Yeah, Slim, it's Zeke's truck, all right, but no sign of the old man. Zeke! Zeke! Man. Well, I guess your troubles are over now. Slim! Sheriff. I found Zeke. He's dead. Call the doc and tell him to put his coroner's hat on. Damn for sure. Mr. Gilman. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sad, too. He was a good man. You know, in the bee world, the women known as workers do all the jobs. Gathering pollen, tending the hive. Oh, it's a nice change of pace, isn't it? Hey, what are you doing here? I'm watching Cassidy. Well, Dylan was supposed to babysit. You know me. Well, she called me up and asked me to do it. I can't believe I'm helping my wife get ready for a date. It's not a date. It's dinner. Well, whatever it is. Your babysitter would like to know when you're going to be back from dinner. Dad, please pay attention. I'm sorry, sweetheart. The male, or drone's sole purpose in life is to mate once with the queen, after which he dies. Unlike us humans, who die a thousand deaths. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, cowboy? Out. 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 Dad, relax. I'm going to meet up with some buddies and jam, OK? Calm. He's hoping to scope out Nadine. Mind your own business, little sister. Nadine, huh? I want you home by 10 o'clock. Come on, Mom. 11. All right, 11, but not a minute later, you hear me? Promise. Night, Ma. Have a good time. You're too damn easy on him. He's 16. I know he's 16. Like you weren't staying out late when you were 16? Well, he's a good kid, and I wanted to stay that way. Well, he will. You just have to cut him a little slack. Hey, stay away from that window. You know, scare him off. Night, honey. Dang it. I gave her that perfume, too. Where were we? Wanna ride with my posse tonight? Nah, man, I'm kinda busy. Oh, come on, Harris. My radio's busted. We could use some music, bro. Yeah, and uh, Jared's singing isn't exactly melodic. <laughs> Here are your fries. Thanks. Hey. Hey, ride with us. Two against one. <laughs> All right, good. The sheriff's son's riding with us, which means you have to behave, Jared. That's right, sonny boy. I won't see no cow tip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want Dylan to get caught. Sheriff might lock him in his room. <laughs> Come on. What's up, y'all? Where we headed? Wanna go up to the bluff? Hey. Let's go for a drive, man. I thought you said we weren't going cow tipping. Oh, I got something much more exciting in mind. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be fun.
What are you up to, Jared? Shh. He's sleeping. Come on, man. This is crazy. Nah, it'll be like taking candy from a baby. This isn't funny. No. Or should I say honey from a bear? <laughs> nah, I don't know about this, Jared. No, take this, man. I promised my parents I'd be home half an hour ago. Well, anyone else gotta go? Huh? Nadine? Guess not. All right, then. Hey, dude, I promise you'll be entertained. Yo, come on, man. Hop in, bro. This is Dylan's farm. Come on, this isn't cool, Jared. Should have gone cow tipping. Should have gone home. Yo, Chucky, open the door, man. Went a little late, huh? Twelve fifteen. Yeah, it uh, went really late. Sorry. That's all right, son. I'm just glad you're home. Go get some rest. Night. Good night. Farmer said he found him when he went to milk the cows this morning. Well, it must have been one angry swarm to take down these heifers. Yep. The cows must have made them pretty mad. Makes it worse to panic with bees, you know. Bees can smell fear. What do you know about bees? My uncle was a beekeeper. So what do you think? Some kind of kid's prank or what? <sighs> Probably so. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, I almost forgot. Dr. Kearney call. Oh, Zeke Gilman. Blood test results. Well, what'd he say? Oh, uh, oh. you ready for this? He said old Zeke was poisoned. Poisoned? Poisoned. Congratulations, Sheriff. You got yourself the first murder. Hey, Harris. Jared. You, uh... Say anything to your old man about last night. No. Good. Good. Just make sure it stays that way. What we got here, Sheriff, is a real puzzler. Traces of acid phosphatase and melatine. I didn't want to poison old Zeke. Well, that's what we're going to try and find out. Now, you see this discoloration around the neck? 
Now that's very unusual. So that's where we're going to start. What are you doing? Well, to look inside, I have to get the mouth open. This is your first autopsy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you feel the uh, urge, go in there, not on the body. Thanks, Doc. Ah. Sheriff? It looks like we have a suspect. That's OK. Oh, go take it. It can't sting twice. Yeah. Zeke died of toxic substance, all right. What, B toxin? Well, two, three stings in the throat. Could easily swell it up enough to close off the trachea. Poor guy couldn't breathe, huh? Bee stings aren't unusual this time of year, but for the life of me, I can't remember the last time we had a bee inflicted dent. Gosh, nice going, Doc. I'm sorry, Lyndon. I forgot about your dad. No, it's all right, Doc. You know, Dillard's farm just lost three head of heifers to bees this morning. Is there any connection here? Hmm. Forensic entomologist. That's what you need. Now, I may know somebody who can help you with your bee problem. <clears throat> Riley Muir. Now, she knows bees. If anybody can help you, she can. Thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. All right. I, I, I heard something. And, uh... It's okay, Ranger Rick. The bees work for me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like bees. Yeah, I can see that. Feel better now? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so I'm sure. Harris, Doc said you'd be stopping by. I'm Riley Muir. Muir? The sign says Houseman. Riley Muir Houseman. I'm divorced. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You? Oh, you know, I'm separated. So what's with the bees? I have MS. It's an experimental therapy using bee venom to boost the immune system. Really? I've never seen that. I got sick. The bees made me feel better. So let's see the little troublemaker. Here you go. You might want to stand back. I'm going to open this. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Has your victim been out of the country recently? Out of the country? Like South America, maybe? Well, this just happened over at Farrell Creek. But old man Zeke, he's never been out of the county, no less the country. Well, these critters you've got here are usually found in places like Peru, Guatemala, and parts of Brazil. Not the Evergreen State. Have you ever heard of the African Scutellata? The species commonly referred to as the killer bee. Killer bee? Up here in Washington? Well, they've been found places farther south, like Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. Just, the whole thing sounds so far-fetched. Well, you must have suspected something out of the ordinary. Otherwise, why'd you come all the way out here? What'd you say if I told you a farmer just lost three head of his prized cows to bees? Now you've really got my attention. So what do you think? I'd say Sue Mass has a killer bee problem. And a pretty serious one. I read about them in National Geographic. They got the regular sting of a bee, but they're like 10 times more aggressive. Is that about right? That's right. Outbreak of killer bees. 
That ought to bring Sumas some attention. Maybe the kind of attention Sumas doesn't need right now. I mean, until we know for sure, maybe it's best we don't go around spreading rumors. Yeah, especially in the middle of pollination season. Well, you're the expert. Riley, if you don't mind my saying so, you're looking a little peaked. Sheriff, I think her blood sugar's a little low. Why don't you uh, take her down to the castle and get her something to eat? Well, she won't bite. Unless provoked. Okay, go. What are they doing up here in Washington? Well, they originated in Brazil after a few queens were brought over for experiments. Then a few of them got loose, interbred, and well, have been reaping havoc ever since. How your bees got here, I don't know for sure. Maybe they were blown in by a wind system or they hitched a ride on a vegetable truck. It's hard to say for sure. It's difficult to read their little passports and they're not very good about getting them stamped. <laughs> but most likely they were brought here on purpose. Why would anybody want to do that? Sumas County. Hundreds of thousands of acres blooming right now. And without the pollen being carried from flower to flower, the plants won't yield. Unfortunately, there aren't enough bees to go around, so keepers from across the country truck in their supers. Nice. <laughs> You're learning. It's a highly migratory industry with keepers following blooms from Florida to California all the way up here to Washington State. You know what I think? I bet some of those truckers probably got himself a few boxes of AKBs and doesn't even know it yet. Hey, Lindy. Audrey. Uh... This is Riley Muir. She's an entomologist. She's the one that's helping me with that, uh, you know, bee problem. Oh, yeah, the bee problem. Well, let me get this straight. You want us to stop pollinating our crops? Well, just until we can figure out where these bees are coming from. I mean, you don't have to move the hives. Just leave the lids on until I can figure out whether or not they're killer bees. Lord help my time. The sheriff wants to put us out of business just like he did himself. Do you really want to drive us to the poorhouse that bad, Lyndon? Look, this is the height of pollinating season, Sheriff. We'll lose our crops. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. That's right. That's These right. bees have already killed three head of livestock and one of your own. Zeke Gilman. Now, I'm just asking for a week, boys. One week. A week without pollinating. Well, the trucks will just move on to the next county. We'll lose our contract. These bees yeah, are exactly. unpredictable and dangerous. Look, look, I would rather sleep out in the pasture and pick corn out of horse droppings. No, sir. I ain't having none of this. Let's get out of here. Come on. There you go. Another four points off your license. Not a real good week for you, is it? No, it isn't, Sheriff. You could have given me a break. That sign wasn't here last time. Uh, it is now. You know, Jared, I was hoping you might be able to tell me what happened out of Dillard's farm the other night. It's me. Somebody dropped a beehive off in his barn. Some of his livestock got stung to death. Really? Killer bees. Whoa, killer bees. No kidding. Got any suspects? I got a few. Huh? As a matter of fact, I might just go easy on somebody if they told me where those bees came from. No idea, Sheriff. Will you ask around for me, okay? I'll definitely let you know if I hear anything. I'm sure you will. Hearing a lot of talk about your dang bees, Harris. You're stirring up hell with a long spoon, and I don't like it. There was a man killed. And I heard he drank too much. Well, the doc confirmed it. It was bees. Killer bees. <laughs> Do you realize how ridiculous that sounds? Now look, you're the sheriff, so you investigate. But do it quietly. We don't need to be stirring up a panic. Yes, sir. I'll be as discreet as possible. Well, you better be. <laughs> now, look, Harris. We've got Meg Lamart preparing to break ground right here. I mean, they could really put Sumas on the map. 
Now, we can't have any bad PR screwing up the future of this town, can we? Sheriff, you gotta come quick. Killer bees. Killer bees attacking people over at the farmer's market. I think it's awful how your father is being treated. <laughs> Jared, shut up, okay? Just leave him alone. You know, you're right, Nadine. The sheriff's boy could have ratted on us, but he didn't. Say, um, we're all going out this weekend. You, uh, you want to come? <laughs> oh, your musician boyfriend can tag along, too, if he wants. Um, I'll be sure to put it on my social calendar. All right. I'll be checking in with you later, Harris. Now, I best be going. <laughs> <laughs> never had much of a following. Well, my sheriffing hasn't had much of a following either. <laughs> I mean, before, half the county hated me, and now it's unanimous. Oh, you're just doing your job, Lyndon. At least your problem will eventually go away. Mine will just get worse. What's it like? MS, I mean. I get fatigued. It's the most common symptom. But then there's the tremors where I lose coordination and balance. That's the worst. There's no cure? Not as of yet, and I've tried everything. Salves, pills, physical therapy. And then I discovered apitherapy. Bee venom. Oh, that just sounds so medieval. <laughs> Believe me, if there was a cure involving leeches, I'd be all over that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> you do what's necessary to survive. If I've learned anything, it's that you've got to be grateful for every day you've got. You know, speaking of days, I, I really should be going. You know, we have an awful lot of trucks to check tomorrow. Was it the microwave cooking? No, no, that, that was fine, <laughs> really. I had a great time. I'll see you tomorrow. Sam Hill's this all about, Sheriff? We're trying to isolate an outbreak of AKBs. Huh? African killer bees. Oh, yeah, I saw that movie on late night TV, Attack of the... No, maybe it wasn't bees, maybe it was piranhas. Or maybe it was alligators. <laughs> A real bee movie. Uh, hey, 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 you okay? Uh, huh? Just a little tripper. I'll be all right in a minute. Okay. You all right? Yeah. Dylan! Dang it.
right, guys. That sounds excellent. Good job. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you guys mind if I take a five-minute break or something? Those piano lessons finally paid off, huh, Kyle? You guys take it easy, all right? You rode right by us. You didn't wave or nothing. That's something I might expect from somebody in this town, but not from my own son. Is she a girlfriend? Well, she's a girl, yeah. She's my friend. So she's your girlfriend, then? Dylan, we're just working together. Listen, son, you know what's happened between me and your mother? We would never have wished that on anybody. Okay, I mean, if you got any ideas on how to fix it, I'm all ears, but we've been trying, and it's just not working. So you're giving up, then? You don't have to find out like your old man the hard way, but not everything in this life lasts forever. <laughs> Gee, Dad. Can't wait to grow up. Well, I'm sure glad the doctor gave you a clean report. Yeah, me too. Thank you for today. Of course. Usually when that happens, I'm all alone, and it's kind of scary. I'm glad you were there. Now I'm the one that's weak in the knees. It's your wife, isn't it? What, Audrey? You're still in love with her, aren't you? Oh. I'm still working on that. You're a good man, Lyndon. I'll see you later. Good night. Open those supers. So, Cass, you know, I'm sorry if I've been a little more involved than usual lately. It's okay, Dad. Being a policeman's a very stressful job. Right up there with air traffic controllers. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so I was thinking that, you know, seeing how a real beekeeper might work could help you with your presentation. I thought you didn't like bees. Oh, I don't. I hate them. But you like her? Well, she's a real smart lady, and I think you're gonna like her, too. No, no, Slim, that's just, that's not gonna cut it. Well, I don't care. Call the Teamsters or Highway Patrol or somebody. Give me a roster of all the truck pollinators. What, did you try the web? <sighs> On the computer, Slim. <sighs> okay, we'll, we'll start with the power button. <sighs> Each colony contains about 50,000 bees, which will yield about 60 pounds of honey. Are you scared? No, I... I like the bees. Me too. I think it's a shame most people think of bees like that. Angry insects just waiting to attack any poor person who comes near them. If someone filled my house with smoke, I'd be pretty angry too. <laughs> You'd have every right to be. Actually, the smoke just calms them. Otherwise, we'd be facing an angry swarm right now. I wish I was a bee when the bank took our farm. I'd have given that Mayor Ditwaller a good sting. Must have been a pretty place, huh? It was really pretty. I had a calf, and... Riley? Yes, Cassidy? Dad said you were sick. I have MS. MS? What's that? It's multiple sclerosis. It's a disease that attacks the nervous system. Are you gonna die? 
don't think about dying, only living. This little worker be here. She only lives for about 30 days. If she pondered her fate as much as we do, she'd never get any work done. That's why they say busy as a bee. Those. The bills. Right on time. So your daughter thinks that Riley is nice. You two going out? You going out with Dave from Pick and Save? I think we had this conversation back in high school, didn't we? Then the people are beginning to talk. About me and Riley? No, about you and those bees. Oh, for the love of Kids are getting it from their friends. I'm hearing it in town. The customers now are shooting me looks. You know, you go ahead and mention to somebody in this county that a twister's coming, they jump in their storm cellar quicker than hell can scorch a feather. But mention killer bees, everybody thinks my six shooter's a few bullets short. Sheriff. What is it, Slim? Cardiac. Sissy Heffron's place. All right, I'm on my way. Think it's legit? I sure hope not. Poppy. She was having difficulty breathing, and then she lost consciousness. Heart attack. Did you see this? It's a bug bite. That's a bee sting. What if she's allergic to bees? Are you sure, Linda? My dad died this way. So, does Sumas have a killer bee problem, Miss Muir? Sumas may have a bee problem, but I can't put all the blame on the African killer bee. Sissy Heffron had a severe anaphylactic reaction brought on by the sting of a common European honeybee. And what about all those pollinator trucks that you've been harassing? You find anything there? Uh, I've no further evidence of killer bees, sir, but I really think... Well, then, we can call off all the hysterics. I, I really think this is a bit premature. So Your we... sheriff's career is premature if you don't stop this. Are we clear? There are no killer bees in Sumas. Fine. If you say so. Well, then. How's that little investigation of yours come, Jared? Oh, I'm still working on it, sir. Really? Well, so am I. Why don't you come by the office tomorrow? We can compare notes. Tomorrow? Kind of busy. It's not an invitation you can turn down, son. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sheriff. Uh, is Dylan around? Actually, Dylan's a little busy today. Oh. Well, tell him I was here. I'll do that. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Talking to somebody? Jared just stopped by, but I told him you were busy. Dad, I was supposed to go hang out with some buddies. I mean... I got an errand I want you to go on with me. Okay. I don't even have my learner's permit yet, Dad. I mean, <laughs> I, I get some serious trouble here. Well, do me a favor. If we get pulled over by the police, just let me do the talking, all right? <laughs> Still hanging out with that Jared Wiley, son? Jared? He's up to no good. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. And those are my feelings exactly. Still hanging around with that girl? Riley? No, Dad, the other girl. Yes, Riley. As a matter of fact, she was kind enough to help us out with our investigation investigation you know the bees well I thought that whole thing was um this big false alarm but wasn't it you had a few bee related deaths in a short period of time son it just scared the heck out of me yeah but that's because you're afraid of bees dad everybody knows that oh everybody huh 
Maybe not everybody, I don't know. <laughs> Few free sandwiches. <laughs> awesome. over at the um, Dillard's farm with the bees? Yeah. I was there. Unit one to base. Go for it, Sheriff. I'm still here. Slim, I got an ID on that bee truck. It's a steak bed with Mexican plates. I want you to put an APB out on all the surrounding counties and make sure you notify the highway patrol. Sheriff, I thought we were done with that B thing. No, we ain't. Listen to me. When you're done with that, I want you to go find Jared Miley and bring him in. Can't. Why not? After he didn't show up for supper, his ma called here. Thought we might have locked him up again. He'll show up eventually where he's not wanted. He always does. It's not an easy choice. <laughs> Sheriff Harris! Come over here for a moment. <laughs> I could use your powers of observation. How can I help you, sir? Well, lately you've become quite a bee expert. So how about deciding which one of these lovely honeybees is crowned queen? Well, I believe we should leave that decision up to the judge. <laughs> in this town, I am judge and jury in all matters, and don't you forget that, Harris. There will be no more talk of killer bees. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. And now, if you can get the widow Gilman moved out, I'll be a happy man again. <laughs> girls, girls, come down here. I do believe our sheriff doesn't have a Honey Festival pin.
Well, now. There we are. Now, Sheriff Harris, you're one of us. <laughs> Sheriff, call from Highway Patrol. Be a trucker with Mexican plates. Spot on FTM 13. Roger that, Slim. I'm on my way. Whoa! You can't leave. Who's gonna move all that stuff? Looks like you got a stay of execution, Mrs. Gilman. That, Sheriff. Be careful. Remember, that truck might be filled with lethal bees. How can I forget that, Slim? I'm immigration. I bet anything is illegal. I want you to call the highway patrol. Set up a set up a roadblock there at Feral Creek Crossing, okay? Whoa, whoa, easy. Um, he's bodied. We're about three and a half miles outside of Farrell Creek. You better send an ambulance, Slim. It don't look good. We got trouble, Slim. The bees are swarming. Sheriff? Sheriff! They're headed right for me, Slim. They're coming right for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay, Slim. Um, tell Riley that, uh, that swarm is on the loose. We have all seen bees swarm. That doesn't mean they're going to attack. These are African killer bees. Nobody is sure of anything right now. Mr. Dibble, please. With this swarm on the loose, we have to call off the festival. Harris, we have got the Megalomart head honchos here to see our town at its best. Now, we can't shut down the festival because of one man's crazed bee phobia. Now, where are you going? I've been stung once, but it ain't gonna happen again. In my hive. The show's tomorrow. Nobody in this family's going anywhere until that swarm goes away. Where's Dylan? He went to the lake, but he said not to say anything about it. Great. My dad used to bring us here when we were kids. It's beautiful. Maybe we should stay closer. OK. 
Okay. Listen to me! Listen to me, just stay still, try not to agitate me! It's gonna be okay, son! You okay? Did you see him? They were everywhere. And they've got to believe you now. Look. Come on, come on. Let's go to the car. Did you get stung? Yeah, huh? just, just a couple bites. Are you okay? Better off than that guy. It's horrible what they did to him, Mr. Harris. Yeah. Well, I'll send the corner out for him. Let's get out of here before the bees come back. Come on, Get come in, on. Dylan. Get go, in. Go, go, go. What happened with your kid was miles away. A man died. Parker Lake isn't even in the county. It is not your jurisdiction. Who are you to play God and do nothing about it? Now, Sheriff, if you can't deal with us civil like and stop your ranting, I'm going to have to ask you to turn in your badge. You can take my badge, dear Waller, just like you took my farm. But you cannot stop me from warning these people about these bees. The heck do you all care about Sumas anyway? You done sold us out years ago to Megalomart. Finally come to their senses? Yeah, we could use some help here, Slim. <laughs> Actually, ma'am, it's uh, Sheriff Slim now. And I couldn't think of a more qualified man for the job. Now, would you help me gather up these signs and put them in a the truck, please? Actually, you gotta stay inside. Slim, I know that, but not until I take these signs down to the parade. The councilman wants you to stay put just till the parade's over. You can't stop me. They just don't want you anywhere near Main Street for a while. Come on, just do it for me. Just sit here, and wait till it's over. All right. 
right, Slim. I'll see you later. Good man there, Audrey. Had. Oh, I think he's still there. You know, maybe I should just spend the night in case something happens. Okay, sure, that's fine. You're welcome to stay too if you want. Oh, no, I better head home. Some good bees who will wonder what happened to me. <laughs> night, folks. Good night. We'll see you later, Rob. And do something, Sheriff, or I will. Sissy, I don't know. I'm not even the sheriff anymore. Then who do I call? You're just gonna have to call Slim. I don't have his number. 911. I don't need no 911. I got my old shotgun. That's all I need. Maybe you better stop by one last time. One last time. Sissy, you there? Sissy? It was horrible. What? The whole place is just infested with hives, but the bees are gone. But if they tried to make her home into a colony and left, either it wasn't suitable for the queen or it wasn't big enough, that swarm has got to be huge. How are we going to stop them? Unfortunately, there isn't a can of bug spray big enough. What we've got to do for now is just get everybody out of the open until the swarm just naturally disperses. Large gatherings, loud noises, strong odors, fragrances. That's what the bees are attracted to. Large gatherings? Yeah. Like a fair? With a loud rock band and people walking around eating cotton candy and pizza, that sort of thing? The honey festival. One of these bee stings, it releases something called pheromones, a chemical alarm sort that causes other bees to become agitated, and not just African bees. European honey bees as well. With all 
all the pollinators in the area. Do you have any idea how many bees that could be? I told him not to go out today. It's Cassidy's presentation, Dylan's debut with his band. Maybe we'll get lucky and that swarm will just fly right over. Maybe they'll drop little jars of honey with sympathy notes. So young. It's a great company to work for, Mega I mean, they've been so successful. And, hey, thanks. A bee swatter. Pretty nice. <laughs> little bees. So, would you like to see a, a little bit of our little town? Grab your dancing shoes, everybody. Making their debut on our main stage, we are proud to present Sumas' own Skyrider. Where's Dad? I'm sure he'll be here any minute. He wouldn't want to miss this. Come in, base. You know what? There's no one at base. We're all down here at the fair. Wait a minute, Lyndon. Is that you? Yeah, this is me, Slim. Glad you called. Look, we need to get that police car back. Well, how about I just drive it over there right now, Slim, huh? Wow. Sure, all right. Uh, Slim, you don't happen to have any bees over that way right now, do you?
and so it doesn't make much of a difference what happens to me, but you might want to think twice about what you're about to do. Although I've heard these guys at Vienna are pretty close to finding a cure. Someone's gonna have to get that railroad light fixed. Slim, what's your 20? The barbecue. Slim. Where's my family? I don't know. The bees, where are the bees? I don't know. My first day as sheriff, and it's a total freak show. Where were you doing all this? I tried to warn them, but they wouldn't listen. They just panicked and ran in every direction. And then I hid in one of them trucks, and when I came out, everybody was gone. All right, Slim, I want you to go check farm implements and dairy and home ec. I'm going to cover livestock and poultry and then the young agrarians hall. All right. Darn. This is so weird. Wait a second, do you hear that? Found him. Looks like they must have run inside the hall for shelter. Bees are calm now, busy forming a new colony, but if we disturb them, they will sting everything that moves. And we've got to keep them inside or they'll swarm again. Dad! Look who I found. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I made Mom bring me. It was... It's okay, it's okay. Hey. I'm glad you're safe. my fault. I'm scared, Mom. So am I. All right, so what, the, what are we going to do? That is one enormous super. If I were trying to pull honey out of there, I would just fill it up with smoke. OK. Slim, here's the keys to the 4 by 4 Ah, uh, look, we don't have to do that now. Would you just listen to me? I want you to go to the squad car, grab all the Riley's bee equipment, and bring it back here now. OK, I get it. Son. I don't want you to worry, okay? I'm gonna get your mother and your sister out of there. I'm going in. No, it should be me. Whoever goes in there is gonna get stung. With the immunity my system has built up, my body can probably withstand 20 times the lethal dose of bee toxin. Whereas with your family history, you know. Mom, they're making a hive, and we're in the middle of it. Oh, hey, 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 are you okay? Just a little tremor. What's the matter? <laughs> that last episode I had, I'm still not over. Well, why didn't you tell me? With me, there's always something wrong. I can't let you go in there. Just let me go. I have nothing to lose. You have a family who needs you. I don't know. I'm going in there. What's the worst that can happen? I get stung? I can think of a heck of a lot worse. Look, let me tell you something. If I let you go in there, I don't want any heroics, okay? You be careful. I love it. Don't worry. Some killer bee butt. It's her mom, it's Riley. Get a hold of yourself, girl.
the bees. Don't worry, she'll get to us. That's them. It sure is. Riley must have gotten to them. Something ain't right. Need something isn't. What are you talking about? That's Morse code. They're sounding out an SOS. SOS? Well, what are we gonna do? It looks like I have to go in there. What do you mean you gotta go in there, Dad? The place is just crawling. calm down, Dylan, and run and give me that other beekeeper suit now. You know, if we had a flamethrower, we could just burn them out. Burn them out. You know, Sheriff Slim. That might just be the smartest thing you said all day. It is? I mean, it's a bit radical, but we're going to start us a little fire of our own. Look for the keys. Thanks, Slim. Oh, by the way, did I ever mention that I was afraid of bees? Hey, don't do anything stupid, Kay. Just... Get mom and Cass out. I will, son. And Riley. I'm gonna go get everybody out. Dad, Dad, all the firemen are really impressed. That was, that was wicked stuff. Well, it's easy when they leave the keys in the visor. Mm. Thought you were afraid of bees. Well, <laughs> thought we'd lost her for a minute back there. Sorry to disappoint, Doc. Sure, an awful lot of stings you took. Maybe enough to put the MS into remission. Hmm. Well, wouldn't that be something? Thank you for everything. Cassidy, while I'm recuperating, I'll need someone to watch over my supers. You know any good beekeepers? Dad, could I? Oh, I don't know. We better check with your mom about that one.
Hey, Sheriff. I got some bad news. What is it now, Slim Giant Locust? Worse. With the bee scare, the Megalomar people are pretty shaken up. They're stopping all future development plans for Sumas. They're pulling out. <laughs> when processed, wheat typically yields what percentage of flour? Forty percent. What's your mama's birthday? Come on, Dad. <laughs> It's March 11th. Write it down. Think we've seen the last of those bees? From where I stand, son, there's nothing but clear skies ahead. 